Hi, my name is Crystal, and I attend the Adler Aphasia Center in Maywood, New Jersey. Having aphasia has had an emotional impact on my life. I was suddenly unable to speak, multitask, comprehend, comprehend compass things, talk easily and fluid, like with fluently, like without pauses and the, trying to, I didn't have to really um, focus on what I was saying because it just came out like automatically. And so um, because of the aphasia, you know, my emotions, I'm very more emotional than I used to be because it's a loss that I'm feeling and um, not everyone maybe understands this loss and it's so my emotions run on high, you know, almost every day I, I cry and it's not because, sometimes because I, it's feel like I feel like I'm, I'm not my regular person and then I think the me emotions are more like devastating to me because of the aphasia and, you know, aphasia happened to me before a stroke, which is a brain injury, and that causes psychological, physical, and mental um, injuries to you, even though maybe sometimes you don't see that in a person. Before the stroke, you know, I define myself being a, like a good American. Everybody knows me. I'm like a true, true American. Like I salute the flag. I know the Star Bank Spangled Banner. You know, I real true, pay my taxes, try to be very upright, and so I kind of me having aphasia had made me lose what I used to feel about myself. And sometimes, you know, that's like, um, like um, a little bit of, you know, heartbreaking, you know, um, because um, I don't know, sometimes I don't even feel like I know who I am. But, you know, coming to the Adler Aphasia Center helps me to um, try to stay focused on the positive notes of aphasia because because me having aphasia, I met some, and I continue meeting beautiful people, the members, the, the staff, the volunteers, and they, you know, they like clutch on to us. And they um, take an interest in us, they make me feel good. You know, the days through, the days when I attend our aphasia center, it, like, it gives me a purpose to come out, a purpose to, you know, be happy for them. At least for the moment. So, this this one meant my emotion. Um, anybody who know me, especially before in hand, they see that I'm like I'm very very emotional, especially when I'm talking about my stroke and aphasia and trying to make sure that we are able to overcome this to the best of um our ability. So that's how come. I have, to, I have to advocate because I remember when I did not speak this well and usually people define aphasia as by not being able to speak but it's so much more than not being able to speak because even though I speak well I can hear myself halting and I have to focus on what's going on and um, it's so much worse I want to say but I don't even know how to say them or Maybe I think of the words like days later, and that's like for me, per, they people say I was like type A personality. It's more overwhelming of um of um feelings with it, but you know, life gets better. There were some good parts of having aphasia. I have a new family. I knew I knew some more support system, and day by day I'm feeling better. That and I'm able to acknowledge to anybody. Oh, you know, I have aphasia before. I didn't know how I could tell. I felt ashamed of having it. But now, you know, I'm coming to embrace and tell everybody, you know, I have aphasia. I'm going to Allerton Aphasia Center. And it is help. So, oh, thank you for listening to me, okay? And hopefully you will always support us. We need you to volunteer. We need your financial donations. We, we just need your love and compassion for people like myself with aphasia. Because aphasia does not discriminate age, color, uh, religion. And anybody could be affected by it. So thank you so much for just showing some compassion for us. Thank you.